G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you as always. So uh, we're gonna be going live really soon, as you know. And I thought I would assemble the kit so you could see what the pre-match warm-up is gonna be for me. So let's do it. Set things up. Ah, here we go. Okay, we'll start with the jobby. There's the jobby right there. Love the jobby. I have to say, there's nothing really that compares to a jobby, unless, of course, there's a jobby clone, which, of course, there might be. Part of this is coming pre assembled. So let's very carefully go through what this is here. We have the small rig Z cage and I'm just going to rotate that very slowly and what it is is this cage here it allows you with some cold shoes to add extra things have a cold shoe here now this handle this handle is an add-on that has another cold shoe but I love this handle it really gives you a great sense of holding on to something and if you get tired of holding things this way it's just a great relief this handle and I love that this handle has a little hidden hex key as we call them and it hides in there and you can tighten things up if things get loose and so on and so forth then of course it's absolutely covered in threads so you can attach all sorts of stuff this is the jobby mount which I need to make sure is tight enough this here is an arm also made by Small Rig, as you can see written here, with a jobby, so with a jobby iPhone mount. So let's start by putting the iPhone. I made the decision to, to put the camera lens of the iPhone as close to the camera here. So here, if that makes sense, as opposed to putting it over here so that it also means the front facing camera is closer to my face. So that's a deliberate decision. We'll see how that works out. So in goes our live outside broadcasting van and the camera, but the camera in its cage, its handle, but we're still missing quite a few things. The next thing we're going to put on is this. All right. Now, what we have here is the Atomos Ninja 5, a small battery. I do have a large one as well, but it's really heavy. This battery I've tested, it lasts for about 40 minutes. That's all I need. Then here on the back, this caddy comes with the Atomos Ninja 5 and allows you to put a standard SSD drive in there. So I have a one terabyte hard drive in there. Now you can buy Atomos's version of this. It's a little bit smaller, but they're really expensive. So I went with the cheaper option, but as you can see, it sticks out a little bit. Not the end of the world. Then I have here an Atomos made uh, cold shoe connector. I decided to get theirs because I, you know, I, I don't want to drop it. I don't want it to break. Now we pop that up here in the cold shoe and we screw it down nice and tight. It's gotta be tight, gotta be tight. Don't want it to slide off. That'd be really sad. All right, that is nice and tight. So we're getting close. Next, we have a high quality Atomos HDMI 2.0 cable, which goes it's a full HDMI to mini, so, so full HDMI to mini HDMI, mini being on the Nikon, or shall I say Nikon. We'll pop it there and round we go, popping it behind the screen, not over the top of the camera, into 
the HDMI in port. Great. And that is what allows the Z7, sorry, this is the Z6, that's what allows the Z6 to send either raw or log files up here to this hard drive. Fantastic. Okay, next step. We want sound. I want to record sound. So we are going to use the Rode, the Rode, oops, hold it a second. Let's just lean that there carefully. Got to look after our gear. That goes in the, the cold shoe. And then the Atomos has a line in. So we are going to be recording our sound directly to the Atomos rather than going into the camera and back out to the Atomos. I think that's the way to go. You can let me know if it's not the way to go. And then finally, uh, well, obviously this is not on the rig, but this is the mic for, for this, which I will have on my lapel. Okay, this, this is the kit. Let's put it on the jobby. So I've been working out deliberately to, uh, <laughs> to be able to do this. Um, I will weigh it and I will give you the weight of it. I don't know what the weight is. We could probably try and guess. Let's guess. Let's say it is, I'm gonna say it's, oh, I'm gonna say it's 2.85 kilos, but I'm, I'll weigh it. So there it is, we're ready to shoot. Now, I'm gonna fire all of this up. There's the camera view from the iPhone. We will straighten that up on the day. Here is the camera on. As we can see, uh, what lens do we, this is a, we've got the 50 on there right now. I'm not sure len what lens I will go with, but I, I think it is gonna be the 50. So we're both seeing similar view. And then we'll power up the Atomos. There you go. And what we're going to be able to see, display, when I change the shutter, when I change the aperture, you're going to be able to see what's going on. So that, is our live kit. I'm super pumped about getting out there and doing it, but I just thought I'd do a little bit of an assemblage of it all so you could see it in detail. So please, love to hear your questions about the rig if you have any. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, please share, it makes us all smarter. Please like, helps get the word out there. And uh, if you'd like to see over 150 videos of me right now, Matto and photography right down there. And come visit us in this beautiful space. Oh, come to our gallery. It's so lovely. And you, if you're so inclined, pick up some art. Well, who would know? You could, you might not. All right, see ya. Bye, off you go. See ya. valuable content here is you're gonna see me live create the magic so that's what that's what it's all about yeah man say hi to the universe g'day universe how we doing we're doing great yeah you i'm excited we're going to expose for the interior because it's easier to bring up shadows than it is highlights bring down highlights and uh Again, I'm trying to make shapes from the shapes that are here. I think the 50mm lens is not exactly the right lens. I'm just crouching down. I've got a lot of equipment, so this is a bit difficult. Okay. Oh, yeah. I do like this frame. So, if you look at the edge of my frame, which won't be apparent in the live stream. I'm trying to make things square, something super important to me. 
making things square. And then there is another joy.